The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how to graph a parabola when the equation is in vertex form and specifically using the step method. So I'll, if you haven't heard step method before, I'll explain how it works with these three examples. We're going to do one in this page and two in the next. So here's the parabola, y equals 2, x minus 3 squared minus 4. This is vertex form, same kind of form as this. And the uh, a value uh, would be 2 here. That's the stretch, stretch number, or the stretch factor. So a is 2, and that's a very important, uh, very important number uh, when using the step method. So the next thing we do is we uh, uh, locate where the vertex is. The vertex would be at 3, negative 4. Now remember, it's x minus h. So h would be the number 3 here. It's not negative 3. If h was negative 3, then the equation would look like this. It would be y equals 2 x minus negative 3 squared minus 4. So if h was if h was actually negative 3, then this would actually be x plus 3 in here. Okay? So h is this number, which is in this case 3. So let's get rid of that scratchings. I didn't mean to take my vertex away here. So 3, negative 4. So we're going to plot 3, negative 4. So over 3 and uh, down 4. So there's the vertex right there. Now, the step method for the uh, normal standard parabola, no transformations whatsoever, is 1, 3, 5. It's actually all the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. We don't generally need to go past uh, these number of points, but if you want to go to 7 or 9 or 11, you can if your graph is high enough. And what you do with a step, the uh, for the step pattern for this one, is you multiply each of these numbers by 2, because stretch means that the y values are twice as large, so those steps are twice as large. So the step pattern for this will be, I multiply this by 2, so that's 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, uh, the next number 7, double that would be 14, and of course those steps are, start to get pretty big, so you'd need a pretty big grid to, to draw them. Now what the 2 and 6 and 10 mean is starting at the vertex, the 2 means I go out 1 and up 2 on in either side. So if I go for left here, left 1 and up 2. And then from those points, I'm going to go up 6. So over 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the same on the left. From this point, over 1 and up 6 and then up 10. So we go over 1 and up 10. Of course, we're off the grid a little bit. Over 1 and up 10. And then we draw a parabola. So that's what y equals 2 x minus 3 squared minus 4 looks like. The step method is a very quick way of graphing a parabola. All you really need is where the vertex is and the steps are. And you can plot points very accurately and draw your parabola quite quickly. And on the uh, second page here, we're going to graph these two parabolas. So first of all, the uh, a value for this one will be 1 half. The stretch value is a half, which means it's compressed. It's less steep than the standard y equals x squared graph. Now, th this is still in vertex form, even though you don't see brackets here. See, if you don't see brackets, let me just, I'm going to rewrite this. Then this is the same as writing this. So I have a half. It's the same as writing x minus 0 squared, and then of course the plus 5. So that's why you see if you don't see an x minus or x plus thing in here, it's actually, actually x minus 0 squared. So the x coordinate of the vertex is 0, and of course that's the k value, so k would be 5. So 0, 5 would be this point right here. That's the vertex. And for the standard parabola, the uh, step pattern is 1, 3, 5. So we multiply each of these by a half. So 1 times a half will be a half. 3 times a half will be 3 halves. 5 times a half is, is 5 halves. And just to do one of those multiplications, if I have a half multiplied by 5, 5 is the same as 5 over 1. So 1 times 5 is this 5, 2 times 1 is this 2 in the denominator. Now, for convenience, if you wanted to, we could change these to decimals if that's easier for you to use on the graph. Okay, so half is 0.5, 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, 5 
5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So if that's easier to work with, by all means. So this 0.5 or half means from here we go over 1 on either side and up a half. So we're going to put a dot there and we're going to put a dot here. That would be up a half. And then we're going to go up 3 halves or 1.5. So from each of these over 1 and up. See so this would be up 1.5. So there's up a half and there's up another 1. So that's 1 and a half. So again over here to the left 1, up a half and another 1 makes 1.5. And from each of these I'm going to now go up 2.5. So 1, 2.5 would be right there. And of course over here there's another one up 2.5 from this one. And we could draw our, our parabolic shape. So that's what y equals a half x squared plus 5 will look like. Last one here, number 3, graph uh, y equals negative 3, x minus 6 squared plus 11. The a value would be negative 3 in this case. The vertex would be at 6, 11. So I'm going to plot my vertex first. So uh, over 6 and up 11. So there's my vertex. Now remember the step pattern for the standard parabola, uh, not transformed at all, y equals x squared is 1, 3, 5. So we're going to multiply each of these by negative 3. So 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Of course, the numbers start getting pretty big if the stretch is very large at all. So negative 3 means uh, from our vertex, we'll go uh, left, uh, right 1 and down 3, left 1 and down 3. And now I'm going to do the down 9. So from here, I'm going to go over 1, and you can count all the way down 9. Same here, over 1 down 9, we'll put a point here. And of course, uh, down 15 past those is off the graph, so we don't get to see those points. And so we can draw our parabola. So that's what y equals negative 3, x minus 6 squared plus 11 will look like. So that, just to summarize, that step, uh, our stretch number, is always just multiplied by the, the 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 step pattern. So locate your vertex, uh, find the step for your particular parabola and use it to get other points once you plot your vertex and draw your parabola. And that's it.